Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon and I'm the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Union, Seven Keys to a Healthy Twin Flame Journey. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do tarot readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame, romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. Welcome to Twin Flame Guidance, where I guide you on a twin flame topic. Today's topic is time to get in touch with your twin flame's higher self. And this came to me because of my twin flame journey. Now, if you have not yet checked out my twin flame journey vlog number 33 that I posted a couple of weeks ago, I'll put that link there. So it'll make more sense to you as I'm explaining this topic. So I cut ties with my twin flame in the 3D pretty recently where I just said, look, we don't need to be in each other's lives. And they did that notably because I saw that he was not going through changes and transformations and he was still in lower vibrational frequencies. And me having done a lot of my spiritual work, personal work, I just said, you know, I'm not going to be in a 3D connection with somebody, even if it's just an occasional connection or a friendship or whatever, but I'm not gonna be in a 3D physical connection with someone who isn't in high vibration because they really affect you. And so that happened just about a month ago, give or take a few days. And recently I had my twin flame contact me in the 5D. I went into a conversation with him and then I was driving and I have an online app, which I can't remember. I believe it's Cassidy Kane's app, but I have the free version of the app. It's Twin Flame Oracle. And just occasionally, really, I only use this online app like once every two months, once every three months. So I asked the question, what do I need to know about my Twin Flame on his Twin Flame journey? And I got Twin Flame's higher self. And I was like, what? And so I read the meaning of it and I'm going to read a little bit of it to you here so that you can understand. And then I'll go into an explanation of what you can do to get in touch with your twin flames, higher self. Now, most of you who have taken my twin flame divine feminine boot camp number one, you have learned how to communicate voluntarily in the 3d with your twin flame. And if you haven't yet taken my boot camp number one, it's on demand, the link is below. You too can learn how to communicate voluntarily with your twin flame in the 5D. But here it goes with, it says twin flames higher self and it says, my love, please don't forget the love we share in spiritual truth, nothing else is ultimately real. As a soul, I never loved anyone but you. You are the only one and I will show it to you if you give me a chance. Allow me to show you my love and support. Write me a note saying this and leave it under your pillow. In this way, you can also ask me any questions or make other requests you have. Remember to pay attention to what I bring to you, the answers. I would love to spend more time with you on the non-physical planes. You, my human counterpart, I love you so much, but you are in your human life so preoccupied with daily activities that it can be hard to reach through to you. Your twin flame's higher self is also saying that they're sending you signs and synchronicities. So know this, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, it's kind of long, but I'm gonna read the very end. And the very end says, if the lower self is not matching my spirit's love and support, remember that ego and even low vibration attachments can be destructive. Let us not let darkness win. No matter what has happened before, you will always be my one true love. What I got through that was I can ignore or cut off my twin flames 3D self in the 3D physical world if my twin flame is 
vibrating at low frequency is vibrating at lower energies. But I mustn't shut out my twin flame's higher spiritual self because my twin flame's higher spiritual self loves me unconditionally, no matter what, and also no matter what the 3D persona of my twin flame is like, what he feels, how he is acting toward me. And I took that as an invitation because I'd never gotten that card before. Again, I've had the app on my phone for years. I probably look at it once every couple of months. I don't know how many cards because it's an app. I don't know how many cards are actually in that deck, but I've never gotten that card before. And so I took that as an invitation to contact my twin flames higher self. And we had a conversation and it was very enlightening for me. And in fact, my twin flames higher self told me things that were very much in alignment with what my angels and guides had been telling me. I knew that it was my twin flames higher spiritual self because it was very much aligned with my angelic guidance. That's how I knew. The app suggested that you put a note under your pillow before you go to sleep. I do this very, very, very differently. I write letters to my twin flames higher self or to my twin flame in the telepathic world, telepathic realm. And through practice, I've been able to hear my twin flames voice and I've been able to hear my twin flames higher spiritual self's voice as well, which it does sound a little bit different because with the person's higher spiritual self, there is no ego. So it's often very unfiltered and very loving and positive. It, there's no negativity surrounding the higher spiritual self. If you have reached a breaking point where you are just so frustrated with your twin flames 3D self, that you've thrown in the towel, you're like, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to even deal with them anymore. I don't want to talk to them. I don't want to be with them. I'm not happy with this hot and cold, the ghosting, the sparse texting or lack of reaching out or blocking or whatever other type of behavior happens to be going on in the 3D world. Know that it's fully acceptable for you to ignore the poor behavior, the bad behavior, or the sparse communication behavior of your twin flame in the 3D while keeping the door open to your twin flame's higher spiritual self. Now, when I did that and when I do it in general, like this is the first time I've done it because of a card or an app in this case, but when I've done it in the past, I always call in my guardian angels, my twin flames, guardian angels, Archangel Michael, other archangels. And I say them by name. I, I ask them to come in and protect the conversation that I'm about to have with my twin flames, higher self, because I don't want any lower vibrational energies coming through. I don't want any lower energies getting in the way of me hearing the true messages coming through from my twin flames, higher spiritual self. So if you saw the title and you decided to click on this video, maybe this is a message to you that it is time to check in with your twin flames, higher spiritual self to get some messages from your twin flames, higher self and to hear the messages. Look for the signs, look for the synchronicities in knowing that if your twin flame is still in lower frequencies, that the signs are coming through your twin flames, higher self, the messages, if you contact your twin flame in the 5d are coming through. When you ask, you have to ask, I want to speak to my twin flames, higher self. When you ask, then the messages you receive will be from your twin flames, higher spiritual self and not the 3D physical self through telepathy, which can also happen. Also, I really, really explain the difference in your twin flames, 3D self versus their higher self in this book. <laughs> um, I believe it's in the key to the 3D and the 5D. So if you haven't yet checked out this book, Twin Flame Union, Seven Keys to a Healthy Twin Flame Journey, 
you can pick that up on Amazon via paperback, Kindle, or Audible. But I really do explain the difference if you're a little bit confused and you're like, well, I do hear my twin flame's voice, but I don't know. Is it their 3D self? Is it their, is it their spiritual self? What is it? So I explain it a little bit better in that book, as well as learning how to communicate with your twin flame in the 5D. <laughs> I explain that as well in my twin flame bootcamp number one. So I hope this was a helpful message for you, Twin Flame. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on the bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other Twin Flames. And thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy one of my 10 published books. You can join a boot camp or my meditation course. We also do group coaching. The links are all below. And I will see you in the next video.